Welcome. We are so glad you decided to watch Cooking with Caleb and Recipes for Life. I'm Caleb Clark. I am pastor of Eastminster Presbyterian Church, and I have a couple of passions. First of all, I love to cook. And secondly, I love to be able to explain to people of just the mercy, grace, and love of our God. So we put that together in this series. Today I'm going to crank up my Blackstone grill and we're going to cook up some smash burgers. People ask me what a smash burger is and I tell them it may be the best burger you have ever had. So as we let this Blackstone get hot, I'd first like to just show you what ingredients you will need for cooking up your own smash burger. For these great burgers, just a few things you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need some good beef. And you need a breakdown of 80%, 20% meat versus fat. That works. Then you wanna lightly make three ounces of that beef into rolls and set that aside. The second thing you're gonna need is some bacon. Everybody needs bacon. Bacon makes everything taste better. What I've done is cut the bacon slices in half for it's easy for me to put on the griddle. The third thing we need is cheese, American cheese. I know some people don't like American cheese. They think it's processed, but for this burger, only American cheese. We need some onions too. White onions work best, slice them up. And now for your bun, don't just get a hamburger bun, what you need is a brioche bun. Brioche is a French bun, and it is a hamburger bun on steroids, for they add more dairy, they add more sugar, and they add more fat. You gotta do that. Now, the other in thing that go with the potatoes, with the smash burger, are your potatoes. Just any kind of hash brown or other type of potatoes, frozen, dehydrated, or fresh, it doesn't matter. And then what we need is the butter. Butter makes everything better. So these are your ingredients. This is gonna be the making of a smash burger. All right, are you ready to grill? We've got our Blackstone up, I've got my main burner on high, I've got my burner on my right down to medium, and I have almost no heat at all on the far left. So we'll be using that to move the food around. First thing we want to do is start the potatoes cooking. Um, put a little grease down there, it's plenty hot. And the one thing you need to remember about cooking hash brown potatoes is you gotta have patience. You gotta be patient with them because if you start messing with them, you start moving them around and start breaking them up, they're gonna be mushy. So you wanna put them down there and you want them to rest. Now, if you want your hash browns to be real good, what you need to also do is throw a little bit of butter in there just to make it taste just right. So we've got that going. Make sure that butter gets in there. And we will let those rest. Now, next thing we want to do is get our bacon frying. Bacon frying first does two things. First of all, tends to get some of that bacon drippings and everything else you're cooking, which is not a bad deal at all. Normally I would say one strip of bacon per hamburger, but I'll let you decide what you think is best for yours. So we'll let those things be cooking up. And while that's working, we need to get our onions out and get these onions kind of sauteing up. You may need to give them a little bit of oil, and the oil I am using is avocado oil. Avocado oil is a good oil to use on a griddle because it is, has a high burning point, 
and you just can just turn this burner all the way up and there is no problem. If you've never had a smash burger, what you will experience when you do it is that the burger is pressed down real tightly and so both sides get a good char on them. It's a different tasting hamburger and when you move to that, you probably won't go back. It is the favorite meal for all of my grandkids. When they come over, ask them what they want, they say, Papa, we want a smash burger. So that's knowing my grandkids, they're picky as can be. That make for a good deal. Mmm, it's already smelling good. Already smelling good. My appetite is at work now. If you have a press, sometimes that'll help with those potatoes. Make, I mean, these bacon, make them cook a whole lot faster. So we'll use that. I don't know, I may need to put a little butter on my onions just to make it work. Same time, we're gonna need to salt up potatoes. Put a little pepper on there. Put a little salt on these onions. Move these onions around a little bit. Ah, oh, they're getting a little brown on them. Looking good, looking good. What we need to do is check and see what kind of, I've got this gizmo. Tell me exactly how hot it is. Oh, 445 degrees, that's about all I want. While the bacon's finishing up, we need, what we need to do is get these rolls. Kind of kick them up a little bit. So what we want to do is get a little bit of butter on them. Get them toasting up a little bit. Don't need to cook them much, just get a little bit of brown in there. All right. That bacon looks like it's almost ready. So let's see how these buns look. There you go. That's what you want to do, get them a little bit brown. Now it's time to let's see what we can do with these burgers. All right, what you're going to need with these burgers, is set those things right about there. And you see six. But we're only cooking for three. You get your smasher, and you get a little wax paper, and the first thing you do is just press it down and hold it down for about 10 seconds. Then pull your wax paper off, then go to the next, and push it down. Hold it down for about 10 seconds, and then pull it up. You do that for each one of them. It's smelling good. Burning hot. All right. Now, you're gonna know when it's Turn, time to turn when it starts browning a little bit on the inside. So this one is starting to brown. So what you want to do is kind of get yourself a scraper and turn it over. Turn it over. All right. And And you want to put a, one piece of cheese. 
Alright. That doesn't look real pretty, but who cares? Okay. Let's see what these potatoes look like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, looking good. Okay, now, you build your burger. Woo. You know, Get these potatoes off. And we are about ready to eat our lunch. Well, I want to thank you for joining us. I hope you got a little bit of an insight into the smash burger. Um, you know, there's, there's a recipe for most everything we eat. The question that I am asked many times is, is there a recipe for maybe the way we can live? Um, at my church, I have the opportunity to speak with people who come into my office and, and they wonder. They wonder if God has a plan for them. They wonder if they're doing the right thing. They wonder why they beat their head into the wall and just get nowhere. Um, and they ask, you know, is there a formula? And I tell them there may not be really a formula, but there are some things that we can remember that will help us to have a good life and a life more in line with all of God's plans for us. Um, it's almost like adding the condiments, if you will. Um, the first thing I say is, you know, it doesn't hurt to talk to God to find out what's going on. It's almost like salting the potatoes. You just, you have to add that to it. And speaking to God, we, we call it prayer. And it's, all it is is just finding that time alone with Him that you can just ask Him. Give Him all of your needs, your fears. And then then we need to listen. And at that time, it's almost like the patience of cooking potatoes. You wait for God to speak. Um, you have to get out of the noise of the world and hear what God is putting on your heart. The, the psalmist says that God puts our desires on our hearts, but we have to be patient and we have to be listening. Also important that we might read His Word. You know, we're told that Life sometimes is just this big erector set that needs to be assembled. And the Bible is kind of the booklet that goes along that tells about the assembly and how to put it together. Read His Word. Find out what God is calling you. You will know what's true, what's good by just listening to Him. And the last thing is put yourself surrounded by like-minded people. Surround yourself with godly people that can support you, can give you encouragement, can give you some direction when you need it. We've come today, we've enjoyed the food, and now we want to enjoy our relationship with the living God as we get closer to Him. Thank you for being with us today. I hope you cook a great smash burger. Let me know if you do, and see you next time.